Having solved more than 450 lead code problems and having cleared interviews of four different companies, there are certain things I learned which I want to share with you to make your data structure journey really easier. Today, in this video, I am going to explain the most unique strategy that I followed while learning data structure so that you can become a better in it rather than being just good in it. You need to stay till the end of this video. Why? Because there are three reasons. Number one, what is the perfect order to practice data structures? Number two, how to practice these topics? And lastly, and the most importantly, how much question you need to practice for each topic? Believe me, if you follow this method, no one can stop you becoming better in data structures. So without any further delay, let's start our data structure journey. What is the correct order to practice data structures? Over a period of time, I have observed people practice data structure in a random way. They just pick up a topic in which good at and they solve problem. And at one point, they realize that they are unable to solve any given problem. And now, they start jumping from one topic to another topic. And after spending so much of time, they realize they really sucks in data structures. Don't worry. I have brought the best order to practice the data structures and believe me, if you follow this order, you will see a huge difference while approaching a data structure. So here is the list of order you need to follow. Array, String, 2D Array, Sliding Window, Searching Sorting, Recursion, Linked List, Stacks and Queues, Bit Manipulation, Greedy Algorithm, Tree, Graph, Dynamic Programming. Follow this order and don't jump from one topic to another topic until and unless you don't finish the current topic. If you follow this order, I can guarantee tell you that you will identify a much more difference knowing what is the data structure is and when to apply it and when not. Now, the biggest confusion, how should we practice each topic? Why to worry? I have the best solution, how to practice each topic. Now, let's do the point please. If you are learning currently any data structures or any topic, stop. You just need to stop. Follow this certain step in order to get familiar with each topic in data structure. Number one, learn the theory concept. Learning the theory concept of data structure is really important. Like understanding what is a data structure is, how it works, where it can be applied. Go in depth clarity while learning the theory part because it helps us a lot during the time of problem solving, which gives us a bit idea about knowing its applications and the pattern. Number two, implementing the data structures. Implementing the data structure is really important since it gives a bit clarity on how does a data structure is implemented and how it works. Most people ignore the implementation of data structures and finally at one point during the time of applications they really get stuck. Now we are really clear with the theory part as well as the implementation of data structure part. Now the question comes are you ready to solve the problems on this topic? No, still we are not ready. The one important part is remaining that is applications of data structures. Knowing the application of data structure is really important because it helps us to knowing where to apply which data structures. So implement the application of each data structures. Say for example, we know that balance parenthesis is an application of stack. So write a code to identify whether the given string contains a balance parenthesis or not. Now after knowing the theory of the data structures, implementation of data structures and knowing its application, finally we are ready to make our hand dirty on solving the problems on a given topic. How much problem to solve for each topic? So the biggest question is while learning data structures, how much problems we need to solve for each topic? Don't worry, I have brought the simple strategy for you. So let's jump on it. What we need to do is choose 30 problems for that topic. Now make sure that while you choose those 30 problems, you are choosing the problems in such a way that those are really challenging one. Don't just choose the problems which are easy for you to solve because rather than solving the problems, we are going to to learn and identify the patterns on which the questions are asked. So out of these 30 questions, make sure that 10 are easy, 15 are medium and 5 are hard. So together this will make us a 30 problems. So until and unless those 30 problems of a given topic is not completed, you are not allowed to jump to the next topics. And believe me, this will help us to knowing the each and every single data structures in depth and identifying the pattern while solving the problem. And once you follow all these three important steps which I have mentioned, no one can stop you becoming a better in data structures but don't rush yourself because learning the intuition and the pattern in data structures takes time depending on the person to person for me it really took nine months to become a good at data structures for some people it might be a six months or more than a nine months so i hope this video really help you to shape your data structure journey so just in case if you are new to the random error do subscribe the channel for more such informative videos till then have a happy coding